everyone welcome to tech show and uh, today we are going to go through mallet so mallet is a machine learning toolkit for natural language processing and uh, it's been widely used for uh, document classification topic modeling uh, and uh, you can say numerical optimization sequence tagging so it's a very useful tool and uh, uh, you can uh, go through this uh, uh, this official site of mallet and uh, it contains tutorials videos you can download mallet and uh, you can uh, quick start uh, uh, how to use mallet using a command prompt uh, and uh, these are the tutorials and optimization techniques for each and every algorithm that uh, mallet possess uh, so uh, in this video we are uh, going to go through mallet in uh, three different parts so in uh, first part we'll try to cover how we can implement mallet in uh, uh, using command prompt and uh, in the second part we'll try to implement it uh, in uh, java and uh, then in the third part we'll try to cover it in more industrial way how to implement mallet um, using uh, uh, java and spring boot as well in this part we are going to cover how we can use mallet uh, using command prompt and uh, to do so we can download mallet from here so just click this download and uh, you can see that uh, mallet 2.0.8 uh, is here you can download other versions of mallet as well and you can also clone mallet from here using the git repository so we are just going to download this mallet and for the time being uh, i have already downloaded mallet for you and uh, saved it in my repository any uh, any folder so what we are going to do is just type go through your command prompt and uh, so now let's first discuss how mallet is importing or using the data for uh, their classification algorithm so as you can see um, a mallet uses a dot mallet file to import it into the classification algorithm and to create this web mallet we have to uh, use this uh, folder to create this mallet file and uh, how you can uh, create the data uh, so basically when you download the mallet you can see that uh, they have given the sample data and the sample data contains uh, two folders so the name of the folder can be used as the label and uh, uh, the text inside it can be used as the data so you can see this uh, here we are going to classify if the text written is in English or in uh, German so you can see that uh, every text written is in uh, English and uh, in the other uh, in the other folder you can see that it's written in uh, German so uh, this is how we are going to classify whether it can be spam or not or you can you, you are using a multi class classification uh, as well so uh, this is how we can use uh, or create a mallet data so let's first go through and create the uh, dot mallet file that we can use for classification um, so here here is the code that we can use uh, i need to change some uh, uh, slash as well so i have already done it for you uh, so now you can see that it has created the web mallet uh, when when you see here it created the web mallet uh, file and uh, it has uh, labeled two uh, uh, classes here uh, de and en uh, and let's first try to implement it uh, a classifier and uh, see the accuracy as well and uh, you can also mention uh, the mallet file and uh, you can split the portion as well uh, using the train portion so i have currently used uh, uh, 70 percent as a training and uh, 30 percent as a uh, test because uh, it contains on very less files so i think it will be better to uh, use 70 percent here uh, and uh, again uh, the, for the reporting purpose we are uh, getting the accuracy and uh, f1 score so let's just use this and see what it's going to get here So as you can see we had used 70% as the training portion and uh, the 30 per, uh, other 30% as the train uh, sorry test 
Um, so, for the test accuracy we got a mean uh, as 1 and standard deviation as 0 and uh, F1 score as 1 as well. Uh, it means that we are uh, getting uh, uh, accuracy as 1 as well um, because it has not it have not classified anything uh, as a false positive or false negative. Uh, so, uh, because of the data is very low we are getting a pretty clear accuracy here, but with uh, bigger data we can uh, uh, get uh, different uh, uh, accuracies and F1 score as well. What you can do that uh, you can also train different algorithms and check uh, what is their output as well and compare uh, the output of different algorithms as well. So, you can see that uh, uh, this is the output of new bears and uh, this is uh, the maximum entropy. Uh, classifier and uh, here is ba basically the uh, uh, confusion matrix that you can see and it has clearly identified uh, 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 with the accuracy uh, of 1 and uh, we, we have not got any false positive or false negative here as well. So, uh, this is just for the demo purpose and uh, you can see that uh, how we can uh, implement mallet uh, using uh, 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 command prompt. Uh, in the next part uh, we are going to implement this mallet uh, in Java and uh, uh, in the third part we are going to trying to figure out how we can uh, uh, perform it uh, in an industrial way.